Okay, here we go with the Pro Open main event. Round seven of 12 of the 2014 Future West Kawasaki Canadian Arena Cross Championships here. Here in uh, beautiful Chilliwack, BC, Chilliwack Heritage Park. Got some beautiful sunshine around these parts these days, but uh, of course with that means a little bit cooler temperatures. That's what happens when you get the sunshine out here. In this class right now, heading into round seven, we've got uh, Ross Johnson leads teammate, Cycle North teammate Jeremy Medallia, Brock Hoyer, Ryan Lockhart, Brad Knott at fifth. Here we go, the gate's about to drop. Let's see what we get here. Little jump inside the, the center, Knowles on the inside. Oh, and a little bit of carnage there as everybody comes together. 10 lines became one there. It's poor Spencer Knowles not having the greatest luck this season. Defending series champ. And now Lockhart, something's loose on Lockhart's butt banged in his bike. As he's either smoking or steaming or something. And that leaves Tyler Medalli out there on his uh, Maple Ridge Motorsports KTM 252 stroke out in front. He sits back in about seventh in the overall, in this point standings. And then we have uh, Ross Johnson followed by Ryan Abrigo, Greg Crater, Jeremy Medallia, and Brock Hoyer's lines come together there. Hoyer makes the pass. And then it's Graham Scott, Dylan Schmoke, Kyle Springman, Kevin Lepp, and there's Spencer Knowles bringing up the rear as they come through the, the whoop section here. It's quite tricky. And some guys having a hard time skimming them, kind of doing some jumping through them. There's also kind of a ski jump at the beginning at the entrance to them. Some guys you'll, you'll see are actually jumping into them and kind of landing, kind of straddling that first jump. Seems to be the fastest way if you can time it right in this 15 lap pro open main event. The guys, uh, Jamie Hellam and the guys, as Ross Johnson takes a look at the back end of his bike over the big marquee double jump. Let's see if anything's going on there, but the Jamie Hellam and the guys have a great time with this massive floor space here. Gives them the opportunity to do all kinds of different things as compared with last week at uh, the Cloverdale Arena, which was just your standard four laner. As we complete a couple laps here, that's still Tyler Medalli out front, Ross Johnson second. Greg Crater, who was just at the uh, Supercross last week, is back here for the, oh, as oh, these guys come together. Oh, it's Jeremy Medalli tries the inside line, but Abrigo is going outside in. And those lines came together. Jeremy got the worst of that. Let's hope there's no damage to either bike as Abrigo looked over his, over his shoulder at uh, Jeremy. And there is Brock Hoyer, who did just win the lights, the pro lights man, and Spencer Knowles, who looked great in practice and qualifying, is now cutting his way up through the pack. I wouldn't be surprised if he breaks up into the top five here in uh, the next couple laps. As we catch up with Tyler Medalli out front, followed by Cycle North, Ross Johnson on his big 450, Greg Crater, Ryan Abrigo. As the guys looks at here, Spencer Knowles coming up, takes the inside move on uh, Dylan Smoke. Wow, Spencer Knowles having none of that, pushes, uh, Pushes poor Dylan Schmoke from California out of the way. They're all the way up from uh, down in San Diego, California. Let's see if Schmoke can uh, regroup. They're just interested in getting ready. They're trying to secure some sort of support for a ride up here this summer, as are a lot of these riders for the upcoming National Series here in Canada. Abrigo seems none the worse for wear after that contact with Jeremy Medallia on that Cycle North Honda 250F. And coming up behind him, there we have Spencer Knowles on that GA Checkpoint Yamaha. Let's watch him through the whoops here. And I should mention too, just to my right, a few, uh, a few spectators here up in the upper level where I'm standing is none other than Damon Bradshaw. Gotta be honest, I haven't seen him in a long time and I'm not sure I would have recognized him, but uh, which is embarrassing because I'm from his era. But uh, let's see this here now. We got Brock Hoyer coming up to Abrigo here. Still Tyler Medalli ahead of Ross Johnson, ahead of Greg Crater, who gets sideways at the end of the whoop. There goes Abrigo, Hoyer, and there's Jeremy at the head end of the second room here. Pretty interesting as the yellow flag is waving over there. Not sure who that's for. 
Try to keep an eye out, see if someone had a uh, bit of an issue over there. There's a flash bulbs are going off in the far room. There's race leader Tyler Medallia. Keep an eye on him. As he kind of jumps that entire section as all these guys are. Brock Hoyer getting close to those tough blocks. It's a good little battle there for uh, fourth place developing. Trader looks fairly safe in third, but this battle for fourth is what we're going to watch. As I mentioned in the uh, lights main, Jeremy known for his late race charges. Let's see if he puts on another one. As Tyler puts down another lap in this 15 lap pro main event here at round seven of the Future West Kawasaki Canadian Arena Cross Championship. Here in Chilliwack, BC, as Brock Hoyer's gonna take a look at the inside. Oh, he goes over the berm. The guys kind of come together. There may have been a little bit of contact. But that's arena cross racing for you. I said we were gonna watch that race and then I kind of wandered away, but Hoyer makes the pass here through the whoops. On a break, as does Jeremy. But Hoyer, or sorry, Abrigo, fends that, uh, that attack off. Jeremy's gonna have to regroup and see if he can come at him again. As now Tyler Medallia gets into some lap traffic. I see Jamie Helm there at Future West Moto with the blue flag in his hand, letting these guys know. Interestingly, it's the same two riders left and Kyle Springman who had the, uh, the battle for the same position in the lights main. As you take a look at Tyler Medallia getting through them and now Ross, jo Ross Johnson making his way past them as well. Followed by Greg Crater, number 153, up out of the States, Brock Hoyer. And there it is, Jeremy is ahead of Ryan Abrigo now as well. But he has lost a bit of time on uh, Brock Hoyer there. Respect the Power Sports Yamaha rider. As now interesting here as both Springman and Luck try to let the riders by. It allows them to get really close as they come together. And now Jeremy has made up that space on Brock Hoyer for that fourth place battle as they head into the uh, whoop section. And there they both jump in and straddle that first whoop, as do all three of those riders. And now Abrigo's taking another look back here on Jeremy Medallia. Oh, and Abrigo gets all messed up here. Gets off the track and almost into that fencing. As Springman and Lutt continue their battle. Let's have a look up here at uh, Greg Crater, as I mentioned. He did, uh, he saw him down south at the Supercross last weekend. So he's going up and down this west coast. Trying to find races wherever he can. As there goes Cycle North, Jeremy Medallia closing up on uh, Hoya there as they enter the whoop section. Let's have a look at Abrigo here. Looks like the guys are all kind of doing a similar, uh, similar pattern through there as these guys have been wheel to wheel the entire race here at the back of the pack for 11th and 12th. And there's Jeremy Medallia coming around here in first place. Comfortable lead, let's have a look at it like this. You can see the lead here. Back to Cycle North, Ross Johnson on his 450. Great creator, that better get moving because now he's got Brock Hoyer moving up. As Rod Matichaka from RMR, Fox Suspension gives him a cheering on there down in the mechanics area. He's gonna develop into a good race. I don't see the last lap flag in uh, the starter's hands there yet. And I worry that perhaps earlier that yellow flag may have been for Spencer Knowles because Spencer has uh, not been able to move up as we thought he might have. He is still circling. There he goes now. Not really at full speed there, so let's find out what happened there. As now Jeremy Medalli is right on Brock Hoyer. Let's tighten up on that race as they jump their way in. As I say, these two rooms do make it a little bit difficult to keep up on the action as they go into the other room. As Tyler Medallia completes another lap. He goes wide inside on that line, as does Ross Johnson. Brock Hoyer is gonna have to protect that inside line as Jeremy tries the outside, receiving a slingshot his way to a faster line down the straight. Stays at a similar spacing here. That right battle right there between three riders is for that final spot on the podium. So we will keep an eye on this. 
So the running order again is Tyler Medallia, followed by Ross Johnson. There is the last lap flag for Tyler Medallia. And now for Ross Johnson. Here's that battle for third between Crater, Hoyer, Medallia. Man, these guys are making a race of it. Oh, there's that outside, the two different lines again. Hoyer looks like he might try to make the stick. Crater looking over his left shoulder. Oh, and well, that's the problem. You try protecting your racing line, it opens up the door for other riders. As now the guys are going to try two separate entrances to this whoop on this final lap. So I'll move over here to the checkered flag. As Jeremy Medalli is going, Tyler Medalli, excuse me, is going to be coming around to collect that checkered flag to win the Pro Open here. First place, Tyler Medallia. Second place, Ross Johnson. Let's see who's going to grab the third. Crater, fourth, Hoyer, and fifth, Jeremy Medallia.